So my name is Zacharia Derashuk, and I am one of the product specialists here at Autodesk. Essentially, Autodesk Takeoff is our answer to a modern 2D and 3D takeoff workflow. Before we really hop in, just a quick safe harbor statement. What you see today might be the future end state of the product. Please don't make any final decisions from what you see, and uh, we can take it from there. Agenda. I'll do a quick introduction of myself, a brief Autodesk Takeoff overview, a demo, as well as leave some time for a Q&A at the end. So again, my name is Zachary Adarashuk. I am a product specialist at Autodesk, and I focus on our quantification tools, one of them being Autodesk Takeoff, which is what we're going to be chatting about today. So first things first, the benefits of a modern 2D and 3D takeoff solution. The key benefits are single source of truth, having all of that aggregated data in one place, increased collaboration. We want to have a cloud-based solution where we can have multiple stakeholders all working in the same platform. Standardization. No estimator needs to be doing their own um, their processes. We want to make sure that everybody is doing that, that same process regardless of the project or the person. Digitization. Because we're a cloud-based solution, we're allowing you to do the 2D and 3D workflows all in the cloud all in your browser, digitizing that total, that entire experience. And because we're connecting both the 2D and 3D, we allow you to have a more connected experience with, with both uh, platforms. Autodesk Takeoff, modern 2D and 3D takeoff solution. So Autodesk Takeoff is, part, is only one module, part of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. As you guys may know, we're already pioneers on the design side. We're trying to do the same on the construction side, which is why we've released this solution or platform rather called Artist Construction Cloud. And this platform consists of a couple of different modules. We have Artist and Collaborate, which is more so the coordination and clash detection side. We have Artist Takeoff, which I'll go deeper in just a little bit, as well as Artist Build, which is our uh, PM and operation side. All three of these modules are sharing the same data. And that data is being housed on our unified cloud storage platform called RDS Docs. What are we trying to facilitate here? First and foremost, connected teams. We want to make sure that all the different stakeholders are connected to each other and there is no data silos downstream. Connected workflows. Again, connecting every step, not dealing with fragmented workflows, have it all in one place, and then connected data. Making sure that everybody's working on the latest latest documents and not having to question, hey, maybe one stakeholder is working on the newest one, another one on an older version. So Artist Takeoff allows estimators to perform more accurate 2D takeoffs and generate automated 3D takeoffs with the model all in a single takeoff solution. So what it allows you to do is 2D takeoffs, 3D takeoffs, aggregate all that data in one place, allow you to control who can see that data and who can actually do those takeoffs by leveraging user management and even the documents that are being leveraged for that takeoff. So you can specify which ones you want to use. Single source of truth. So as we see here, I'm in the takeoff module. In the top left, I'm able to select any other modules available to me. With Docs, that's where we have that unified cloud storage um, platform where all the data is, is being housed. Another way to access it is on the Files tab on the left here. Now, this is the same tab you'd be seeing between all the other modules, which means the same data. We can see I have a For the Field folder, also a Project Files folder, and also Seaport Civic Center. Within here, I have models as well as PDFs. You also have the ability to control privileges and security for the specific folder. So if I want to share just the folder to specific people, I could easily do so. Specify who can see this, control that as well. To get this data into the actual takeoff solution, simply click the little checkboxes, publish, and it's going to take you to this new dialog screen. And this is where we use our OCR technology to automatically pick up the number, the title, the version from the sheet. So you don't have to manually type it in yourself. Increase collaboration. Again, I'm on that default screen. 
We can see my recent sheets and models as well as recent takeoff packages. But let's say I wanna add in any other members. On the left side, we have the members tab. And currently we can see a list of all the existing members for this specific project. Adding a member is super easy. Simply put in their email, specify the company, specify their role, and whether if you want them just to be a member or a full admin, as well as the modules you want them to have access to. From there, send them an invite, they'll be receiving an email, and you're good to go from there. Now let's say you wanna change somebody's access after the fact, after you've added them. Simply so select their name, maybe change the company, maybe change their role, maybe their access level, or even the modules, totally up to you. You have full control over this. From here, let's say we wanna actually get into the, the takeoff portion. And all of that is gonna be done in the packages tab. Now, the first thing you're gonna be doing is creating different packages. And in this case, I've broken it up by the different uh, trades. So we can see architectural, I have civil. We can go through the process of creating a new one, name it whatever we need to, create package, and that's literally it. What this essentially means is an estimator can have their work in their specific package. So they don't need to deal with muddying up their, their sheets with, with other estimators. Also, because we are cloud-based, we allow complete transparency to what other estimators are doing. A perfect scenario is, let's say estimator number one needs to understand what estimator number two is working on. I could simply hop in here, go into their package, view that data, and, and really get a better scope of what, what's going on with the project. Standardization. So we're trying to avoid the rep repetitive nature of, of doing a new project. Over here, we allow you to streamline it. So standardize the way that estimate and manage projects by creating these pre-configured uh, folder structures. You can also create templates from existing projects and have multiple templates to accommodate different project types. So in this screenshot, we can see I have one for concrete, masonry, metals, the list goes on and on. You can have as many as you'd like and leverage these project templates for new projects, saving you time and improving standardization. Digitization. Now, as you see here, I'm looking at a list of all my projects, or by my, my packages rather. I'll select my specific package I wanna focus on, in this case, architectural. We can see the automatic naming that I didn't have to do automatically applied. Maybe I wanna search by that name. So let's say like A3 finds the sheet for us, but I can also leverage these filters to find the specific sheets. Once I found those sheets, I know that I'm gonna be working on continuously, I can bookmark them, saving me time from having to endlessly scroll through countless sheets to find what I'm working on. Now let's say I wanna focus on this A101 sheet. I can go through, specify the scale. And as we see here, a bunch of things have already been taken off. But let's say I wanna keep working on this. On the left side, we have our, have our takeoff types. And these are essentially pre-existing conditions that I could just select one let's say like this double door and continue working on my takeoff. As you see here, I selected a couple other ones. We can see I have a total of 50 on this sheet. And ideally I'd wanna have the takeoff type created, but if not, I'd go through that process. Simply put in the name of something I take off. Let's just say the room area either have it as area, linear, count, or BIM, which is strictly for 3D. I'll do area in this case, specify a color, maybe a description, and a classification. Now, this is one that I'm using, but you do have the ability to upload your own and leverage that instead. I'll do wall finishes in this case, apply formula, maybe area times two. And in this case, keep the output as square footage. Again, I could do a secondary output and there's no limit to how many outputs you'd like. I'd go through that same process, specify a code. In this case, I'll do linear feet and click start takeoff. Once I've created that takeoff type, it's created for us on the left and we can start actually doing our takeoff. So as we see here, it's snapping automatically. I can select a bunch of points 
super easy process. And once I'm done, simply double click and it's been completed. Now on the left side, we can see that room area. It's 782.72 .72 square feet. And if I double click, we have that secondary linear footage. And a good point is, let's say we create all these takeoff types. You do have the ability to migrate them over to other projects, just so you don't have to restart again and again with uh, a clean slate. Migrate takeoff types, and you already have a library that you can leverage. Now we're gonna go through the 3D takeoff workflow. It's gonna be very similar to the 2D. We try to simplify as, as much as possible here. So I can select an object, again, select it within the uh, takeoff type list and literally just click the checkbox and you know that's been taken off. As you see here, the generic 12 inch shell brick got automatically applied for us. That's because we're referencing the metadata from the 3D object. We can see I selected bin, which is good. Specify the color. Specify the classification, maybe apply a formula if we need to or even a secondary output, and then click Start Takeoff. And now once I click that checkbox, we notice that that wall has changed color, and the square footage of that wall is 10,266. But I don't want to have to select every single wall instance to do this. I could just right-click one wall, do Select All, and it's going to select all the same wall types in the entire model. Click the checkbox again, and all of those walls have been taken off. Easily noticeable just by the, the new color. Besides looking at it as an entire building, I could break this up level by level. So I could say G level five, zoom in here. We notice that a bunch of walls have been taken off, but oh, wait a second, these gray walls haven't. And go through that same process again of, of doing the takeoff. Besides looking at it as a level, I can also do it, look at it by a this thing that we call form clusters which essentially means that we break up the model based off the category it falls under. So as you see here, I'm focused on walls, but we can also see a list of all the other categories provided to us. And again, literally that same process. A bunch of walls have been colorized, they've been taken off. Wait a second, these haven't. Right click, take them off, they're colorized for us. And it's really that simple. Now let's say I've done both my 2D and 3D uh, takeoff rather. Now what? From here, I wanna see the aggregate of all of that. In the bottom left, we have our inventory button and that's gonna combine both the 2D and 3D. Right now I have a group by takeoff type. I could do it by document. I could do it by secondary or even primary classification. And if I select any of these, they get highlighted on the right side as well. What you can do is select one specific instance, click fit to view, and it's actually gonna find where that object has been taken off, in this case on the 2D sheet, but the same applies to the 3D. If we just give this a moment, we notice that it's highlighted in blue right there. Same applies to if I selected multiple objects. You could also delete them if you need to, but also reassign them. So maybe instead of nine foot drywall, I wanna make it as 10 foot wall. Click reassign, that easy. All those objects have been reassigned to that 10 foot wall. Now let's say we're happy with all of this, we can export this out into Excel. And as we see here, we have the name, the count, the unit, all of that metadata to actually build out a full fledged estimate. And that is all things uh, Autodesk Takeoff. I'd love to answer any questions if, if possible. So I think it's worth discussing uh, a couple of things that I've dealt with, with, with all the, oh, will this work with Assemble? Um, so it, it really mean, it really depends on in what way are you looking for it to, to work with Assemble. We are working on um, some level of integration, but um, if you don't mind specifying what, what you're looking for, I, I can try to better answer that question. So one of the questions, oh, do you have a heavy industrial example, oil refinery? So unfortunately, no, but if you're looking to have a more uh, tailored demonstration, 
please uh, reach out to, or we'll reach out to you um, for, a, for a demo. If you just go to the polls tab and, and click yes, we'll make sure to reach out. One of the things I often hear is um, if you're, let's say you get a new version, how does, how does that work with artist takeoff? Once you get a new version and push it into artist takeoff, you're going to see a yellow tab at the top that says, hey, a new version has been, um, been applied. Would you like to migrate your takeoffs from a previous version over to that? So it's completely up to you. Um, and if you don't want to, just ignore it, X out of it. If you do, click one button and it'll do that automatically. Yeah, so with um, just the quantities are usually generated and assembled. So just want to know how it incorporated with this. So it, it doesn't really, it, there's different um, audiences that, that they're targeted for. Assemble is going to be a more automatic um, 3D quantity takeoff where um, artist, artist takeoff is more automated. So as I, as, as I was showing in the video, um, you're going to have to select an object and, and take it off. What I would recommend is just leveraging Excel to be that middle ground between the two. If you're leveraging artist takeoff for the 2D side and assemble for the 3D, just export them both into Excel and, and leverage both um, all that data in one place. How does this work with the design collaborate module? Will it calculate Delta between changes? Great question. So it's not going to calculate the, the Delta between changes. Um, would you mind letting me know if design collaborate does do that currently? Yeah, so it, it doesn't do um, show changes in the, in the way you're thinking. There is some level of, of doing that within um, that unified cloud, cloud sort side within Autodesk Docs. Um, but if you're looking to actually quantify the, the changes between the versions, um, that, that's currently not, not the case. Awesome. So it looks like we're about to wrap up. Thank you guys so much for your time. I will be in the booth um, shortly. So if you have any questions that you didn't get a chance to ask here, please let me know.